fight out for him is a good fight. He's, he's excited. Look at him here in this first round. Yep. Going right to work. He is, he is such a workhorse in the ring. You're absolutely right, Sean. You know, I was going to say, from time to time, we see Casamayar as a puncher, like we did in the first Corrales fight. When he wants to sit down on his punches and punch, he can throw something. He may try and do that against Ramirez, who at 24 and 10, of course, isn't quite on the echelon of those uh, other fighters that I mentioned. Now, it's worth noting that Ramirez, twice in his career, has been stopped. Once by Justin Gico and once by Edna Cherry, who's a pretty hard puncher. Yeah, he hurts fighters. He hurt yeah. Eslino Freitas when he fought him. Did not get really hurt. Corrales, certainly, uh, in their stoppage. Look at those great shots landed by Casimir. Ramirez with some serious defensive liabilities right now. And he is paying the price against a multi-dimensional attack from Joel Casamayor. Well, look at Ramirez, too. Now he's got his hands up around his face, but he had his hands down around his neck earlier. Put your hands right in front of your face. Hide behind those hands. You know, the old-time trainers taught their fighters to touch their gloves to their eyebrows. That would tell you that your hands are high enough. Have to see him do that, Ramirez. Under a minute left to go. Ramirez with a right hand to the body. His best punch of the fight. I mentioned that there, Cherry stopped him in 2004. Cherry, a very quick-handed fighter, as Casamayor is. Get the uppercut. Uppercut. Wow, yeah. What a great weapon. Especially with a fighter like Ramirez. See how Ramirez keeps his hands up nice and tight? He also leans over Robert, just a little Robert. bit. He's kind of like asking for that uppercut. you got to reach for it. you got to reach out to get him with it. But what an effective weapon. you got to follow up with it, too. Once no, you no, land no, the no, uppercut, wait. you knock your opponent's head up, up, up exposing it, and then you knock it off with another punch. So yeah, a yeah, flat-footed yeah, yeah. power yeah, there punch, it is. Joel Casamayor. Puts an exclamation point on round number kept two. The pressure on. You better be on your game. Oh. Look at that. There's a little <laughs> bit of a crack. Guess that was an accident, no, when, huh? When, yeah. <laughs> when, when, you, when that happens, there's Jorge Alonso even saw it. When that happens, you throw a punch as if it were supposed to happen. So, uh, just, yeah. But what we should see from Casamayor is more of those uppercuts. Look how look how Casamayor turns him too. You turn around. You maneuver your feet to a better strategic position, and then you land. You move around, get the angle, and then crack it. That is nice work. Just walk around. Takes no energy. You walk around. Don't bounce. Don't run around there. Just walk. That's nice work. The third round, you have to get some, some points built up. Casamayor going to work. He's been so accurate with his punches during the course of this fight. like Casamayor still. He's thrown now three punches low has Ramirez. He may be getting a warning. Guys, there's the hook for Ramirez getting in. Here he is trying to throw some combinations and accentuate it with that final shot. Look at that good right hand. Left-handed fighters are susceptible to that punch. To round number four of this scheduled ten rounder, Joel, Joel Casamayor, the lefty in the white trunks, Antonio Ramirez, the righty in the white trunks, and things heating up considerably here in this round. Oh, too slow. That was a uh, really piece of action for Joel Casamayor. Some of the action from that fourth round, it was Casamayor on the attack. Look at all these punches from him. Ramirez trying to fight back. Uh, the slip right there from... Round five Joel. in this scheduled 10-rounder. Joel Casamayor, the left-hander, against Antonio Ramirez. Both men wearing white in this battle. It's been controlled by Casamayor. Big oh. left hand, and Ramirez is in trouble, and he's down. And confused. And he's not going to make it. This well, fight... He's got heavyweight power, even though he's only a lightweight. Joel Casamayor gets the knockout. Huge one-punch knockout artist. That is, that is, that is, he moves up in weight. He's able to stand flat-footed more and crack. And this lightweight division is, is exciting. We've talked about before in this broadcast. There it is. The punch that did the damage. Closing the show is Casamayor. The straight left to the side of the face. Look at that. Crack kind of a hooking left. And uh, that's his power shot. Casamayor, down goes Ramirez. And Ramirez will not get up. Wham. He had been taking a lot of shots throughout this fight. In fact, I still go back to that very first round. And Casamayor made a statement in that first round. He said, look, you're my guy tonight. Don't try to, don't get fancy on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guide you through this fight and I'm gonna knock you out. And that's just what Casamayor did.